Hi students, today's class is Nutrition in Surgery Part 1. Normal Nutrition Requirements Healthy adults need 1500 to 2000 non-protein calories per day. Carbohydrates provides 4 kilocalorie per gram. Fat provides 9 kilocalorie per gram. In normal state, we require 40 gram of protein or 6 gram of nitrogen per day. In hypercatabolic state, body may require 3 to 4 times of this amount. Vitamins. They are necessary supplements essential for normal metabolic functions. They are classified into two types, which you have already studied in first year. Water-soluble vitamins and fat-soluble vitamins. Water-soluble vitamins are B and C. Vitamin C helps in wound healing. For proper wound healing, we need to increase the intake up to 60 to 80 mg per day. Vitamin C is more depleted in patients who are on aspirin or barbiturate therapy or suffering from anorexia or smoking. Vitamin B12 is more depleted in patients with Crohn's disease, ileal resection, bypass blind loop syndrome, increased pancreatic secretion, excess alcohol intake, anti-convulsant therapy and after gastric surgeries. Hypercatabolic state As we know, the metabolism involves catabolism and anabolism. Anabolism means building up process and catabolism means breaking down process. After severe trauma, extensive surgery, burns, severe sepsis, high fever, and hypercatabolic renal failure, etc. There is extensive caloric utilization and unless generous caloric intake is given, the body proceeds quickly to break down fat and muscle protein. That will be approximately equal proportion to provide necessary calories for survival. Total carbohydrate stores in a healthy adult is approximately 100 to 200 gram. And this will provide only 400 to 800 calories. So that in serious illness, protein destruction will occur rapidly. As every gram of negative nitrogen balance represents the loss of approximately 30 gram of lean muscle mass. After herniotomy operation, the usual daily nitrogen loss is about 3 gram which approximately equal to 90 gram of muscle loss. In cholecystectomy, daily nitrogen loss is about 12 gram which approximately equal to 360 gram of muscle loss. In esophagiotomy, daily nitrogen loss is about 90 gram which approximately equal to about 2700 gram of muscle loss. In peritonitis and in sepsis, the daily nitrogen loss are approximately 18 and 24 gram. Effects of malnutrition Defective wound healing and leaky anastomosis of bowel are the main effects of malnutrition. Increased susceptibility to infection, reduced enzyme synthesis, defect in coagulation, decreased tolerance of radiotherapy in cancer patients, delay in callus formation in fracture and decreased tolerance of cytotoxic chemotherapy in cancer patients are some effects of malnutrition. Assessment of malnutrition Body mass index is used to assess malnutrition. BMI is equal to weight in kilogram divided by height in meter square. Underweight value is 16.5 to 18.4. Normal BMI range is from 18.5 to 24.9. Overweight from 25 to 29.9. Obese from 30 and above. Upper arm circumference before and after operation to know the amount of malnutrition or negative nitrogen balance is also used to assess malnutrition. Malnutrition Few patients are seen to be suffering from malnutrition either being present preoperatively or in certain hypercatabolic states. Preoperative malnutrition Due to starvation or failure of digestion of food before operation. Examples Cases of poverty, cases of dysphagia, cases of excessive vomiting, cases of cancer of stomach, pancreas or liver or biliary tracts leading to jaundice, blind loop syndrome, intestinal fistulas, elderly alcoholic who are not taking proper food. 
post operative malnutrition it is common and occurs in almost all cases for a transient period recovers when starts taking normal diet some delay seen in paralytic ileus post operative peritonitis etc after esophagectomy severe malnutrition can occur post operative nutrition management is of two types parenteral nutrition and enteral nutrition about this we will discuss in next class thank you take care bye bye